Hello citizens, I'm your host Gromforks and today I will be showing you how to make an easy 70k in Star Citizen. This guide is mostly for the beginners, technically not when the first mission that you should do, but when you have already, you know, got a little bit of armor, uh, gun and everything, and you can get that right when you, you know, wake up. But what you need is, it's essentially a glorified box delivery mission. For that you need to be on Crusader. I'm actually here, as you can tell, in the Seraphim station. And uh, I'm just gonna go to the common area. And uh, essentially, the only requirement which you should have is, uh, you know, a spacesuit, an armor piece, which would be good to have because you will need, you know, the thrusters to be able to move around zero G. And also, it's basically in the ship where you can actually bring in a box crate. So the name of the mission, if you go onto your Moby Gloss, and you go to the contracts manager it should be under the personal tab and it's under delivery called breach and steal you have seven minutes to accept the offer and it's a little bit of a you know things with nine tails but we're going to accept the offer and we are going to track it also uh while you're there uh you might need to close this this is typically a possible non-combat mission i mean you can avoid combat if you don't want to fight so it's good to know i do always have an armor and just one sort of a rifle just to be on the safe side now uh any starter ship where you can take a box delivery would do i previously had my 315 p i'm gonna take my cutty black mainly because it's now available at the station gladius and hornet ghost do not have uh uh, Hornet Ghosts do not have uh, that much internal storage because they have only cockpits, so that's why I'm actually taking a cutting black. But the 300p would work wonders, Aegis, Avenger, Titan, or any kind of a, that kind of ship would work. So, we are gonna go to hangar number three. I mean... This mission actually pays quite nicely. It is a little bit, yeah, glorified box delivery. So my advice, if you haven't, do a box delivery mission before that. And I'm not talking about, you know, the derelict outpost one. I'm just talking about the regular, you know, space FedEx style. So I'm gonna close here and I'm gonna go in my Cadi Black. I understand Cutty Black is not a starter ship, but it's what I have at the moment, and it would be <coughs> simplest for me to show. So, Alt N is to get the permission to leave, and then right Alt R, that's a, as of 320, is like the ready, that was previously R. Now I have controls mapped to my <coughs> HOTAS, but okay. Now. Let's take an external view and let's slightly go and depart. Oh, 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 oopsie. I guess my throttle was set in the moving position, which is a little bit disconcerting. All right. Picking up the landing gear, turning away and boosting away. Bye bye. Now, <clears throat> switching back to the station, let's see where the marker is. Yeah, I think the marker usually turns up around Daymar. So, yeah, last known location. So, I guess if you pull up the drive, at this moment it will be obstructed. But if you go to OM1, that will actually get you to the position where you can reach Daymar. So, you press B for the hyperdrive or quantum drive, actually. And let's go to the OM1, and then we're going to go to the actual marker. Okay, we will more easily locate it. Yeah, last known position and Daymar. Can we go directly to the quantum beacon? I doubt it. No, it will first ask to take us to Daymar. Okay, well, spooling the drive and let's go to Daymar. Star Citizen is just on some, just so beautiful. Looks amazing. Yeah, all right. There we go. We are at Daymar. So now let's go to the last known location and yeah, distress beacon, it's obstructed. So I'm once again gonna go to the OM1 
because actually that will allow me OM1 is typically I think around the north pole of the planet just above it so if you want a good top-down view over the planet I think it's a good place to start okay last known location it's somewhere over there so typically this mission is where you need to pick up uh, some medical supplies from the reclaimer so yes it's a docking mission all right go there if we arrive quickly enough there might be some you know pirates as well but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put into the overdrive mode you know speedy speedy i'm gonna go in my sensors and i'm gonna be able to do some you know ping there we go travel to the last known location okay that's done and now we should be doing some pinging you press and hold V and release, and then you make a ping. Okay, not there yet. Try again. Hold V. Ping. Ah, we have a marker. Ailey Kuhlman, and yeah, that's the reclaimer. Sometimes there might be some additional, you know, baddies around it, but there will be Crusader security forces fighting it. So just so you know it is a good place where you wanna you can completely go and ignore the fight or you can join up the fight i mean it's your call so that's why i'm saying it's a good way to earn credits however if you want to get some combat experience you absolutely can that depends on how quickly you get there to the mission okay contact yeah we're going 1114 meters per second and i'm thinking that around when i get a little bit closer i would say gonna say around 15 kilometers i might start accelerating i'm gonna go back into the coupled mode so that we can you know decelerate ever so gently let's see are there any more targets i don't see any okay decelerating space break okay I might have put the space break a little bit too much. Okay, come on, come on. Oh boy. There we go. And all right. We're coming in hot towards that reclaimer. I'm going to decelerate slowly. And typically, when you're arriving, I have to figure out what is up, what is down. I, let's press the L to get the lights so that we can illuminate it properly. I've just done this mission once before guys so don't blame me if I'm like a complete noob in terms of where to find I think this is the underside or at least that, that looks like that to me of the reclaimer yeah okay let's go top side on the top side there should be an airlock yeah and I think I see it typically you want to go here where my aiming reticule is pointing now one good side of the cutty black is that you can actually go door to door almost with this so i'm gonna switch to an external view and i'm gonna make just behind oh this is gorgeous i mean seriously okay so let's put that like this and now i'm gonna do use my maneuvering thrusters to get myself position ever so closely okay doke let's see like this now the controls might be a little bit fumble when i do this and it might very well be the case however i don't want to bump into it it's kind of hard to tell how positioned you are you know you can use the z to rotate things and i mean really get things into perspective i do want to come as close as possible to it a little bit further out a little bit further down without bumping hopefully all right a little bit more there is some a little bit more wiggle room okay i think i don't want to push it anymore good that am i happy when i come this close i am right okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna press and hold y and then i'm gonna go to my cutty black and this is one of the reasons why i really do love the cutty black is that it says his side doors so you can go and open and when you open look i'm just in front of the airlock so i can just immediately go down towards it 
There we go, towards the airlock, and F to open. There we go. All right, now we have to cycle the airlock. Come on. There we go, we're going in. So now, as you can tell, there are some, you know, guys, you can always loot these, but uh, if, you, if you want to, you know, see what they have and take all of their stuff, which is, I mean, I don't know, picking up stuff would always be handy. However, I don't have the backpack on me to do that right now. So if you have more loot, that's something that you can always do. Now, what I'm going to do, this is the security guys. So I'm not going to be pushing them very much. I just want to go and pick up my medical shit. So just going to go down and be as quickly and as efficient as I possibly can. When it comes to picking up, you should go here. I think it's, you should go down the stairs. I'm guessing somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out where. Okay, perhaps go down. Yes, let's try and go down. I mean, there's an arrow pointing the way, so just try to remember where you need to be picking up. The reclaimer elevator is tricky, so be very careful with that. There we go. Pick up medical samples and look. Carry. I'm not gonna even bother trying to figure out the rest. Where is the elevator? Uh, where did I come just now? Elevator. I think it was this guy, right? Yeah, probably go up now. Yeah, go up. Go up, please. You might need to be careful that you don't fall out through the floor. <clears throat> That's one of the downsides of the reclaimer elevator. That thing has been broken for ages. But it is what it is. All right. So this is the way we came, I hope. Because if it's not, then I'm going to be in some serious trouble. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this is the galley. There we have our friendly security guy. And then we want to be going towards the airlock. I'm assuming it's this side. Come on, there we go, and I think you need to open up this door. And is here my Cutty Black? No? Did I go on the wrong side? Maybe. Okay, let's try here. You know, I could be wrong. Yeah, this is my where my Cutty Black is. Sorry guys, orientation isn't really my strong suit, so yeah. Okay, now when you're in 0G, you just press where you want to go, and there you go. Getting in my catty black, see? A little bit time to figure out your bearings and orientation. And wait, where, where is my box? Oh boy. Did I just? No, I didn't fudge it up. Okay, good. The box is here. Let's close the door and let's the hell out of Dodge. Okay, and I'm actually just going to be placing the loot here. Let's say here. Objective co complete. Collect package. Now we have to drop off the package somewhere. And I think it's usually you have to drop it off at Grim Hex at Yala, I think. Yeah, drop off medical supplies. Okay, so enter the pilot seat. All systems working and nominal, good. Sometimes you might get a bug out, and then let's go up. And let's get away from this reclaimer. Like I said, a glorified box delivery mission. So drop off medical supplies, turning on my quantum drive, going towards Yella. Okay, we're ready. Okay, so another tip that I heard, if you go directly here, 
uh, Grim Hex is actually in Yella's ring, so that's actually a not very convenient way, but if you go, I think to, they said to the, what was it, OM1, you will be able to arrive from the top to Yella, to the Grim Hex. And that is actually very handy because you don't need to fly through a lot of asteroids. Very handy, very good tip. I forgot the name of the guy who actually posted it, but a big thank you to him nonetheless. Let's call him to unnamed contributor. So if you go here, okay, we go to Grim Hacks. The most important thing, if you saw, there was literally no fighting. And that's what I think is the most important. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, decouple from the rails just to get to the Grim Hex a little bit faster. Don't do this unless you really know what you're doing because, well, you know, things could get ugly very quickly. And it says drop off medical samples, as you can tell. Please contact ATC to land. Now, in this case, normally you would. Collision alert, oops. Okay, I think that was much closer and my butt cheeks were clenching much more than I needed to. Okay, whew, now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and as you can see, you can drop off medical samples over there. And apparently there is some dudes already there present and quite a few of them to be perfectly frank. So, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run past by them and I'm gonna go into the airlock because apparently a lot of them are already there present. So, I don't want to annoy them. There we go. All right. So, what you want to do, you want to go pick up your box. And you want to get the hell out of Dodge. So, you want to go and you want to dump them. I'm going to once again use these. Handy opening on my Cutty Black and, you know, go right down there. That, wow, that's a lot of ships. All right, so as soon as you get to the platform, you can actually go and there is an airlock one on this side. However, I would suggest that you can go and you could go through the emergency drop-off, I guess. All right, and then you just want to go and drop the medical samples. I just got to find out. I think you have to go down there. And as quickly as you can... You go to the medical stores and you put this on this shelf. You just press F quickly and you will place it. Boom! Contract fulfilled. Breach and steal. And that, my fellow citizens, will bring you an impressive amount of credits. 70,000 to be exact. 73,000. And you can only do this, I think, once or if you really want to be sneaky and kind of server hop, so that where you basically hop the server from, uh, let's say, EU and changing the zone would actually help it. So exit B, there you go, and uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you like this guide, and I hope uh, to see you in my next video for Star Citizen. Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundforks, signing off.